everyone you are watching SNU Reel I am Anupama Das your host for the day Today I have a very special guest with me Professor Khalid Said a renowned expert from Poland the Ballistic University of Technology he is a very renowned expert there in computer science So welcome to our show sir so first of all I would like to know from you that what is biometric This is our first question good Biometrics is uh, a science that deals with human traits, human beings, right? from the point of view that we want to recognize people. I mean, from the uh, recognition of people, their identity and so on, point of view. It is part of pattern recognition, which is image processing and so on. So this is in, uh, in some uh, words we can say, and it is developing. Of course, we have varieties of categories of them: biological, uh, I mean physiological, and uh, behavioral, and so on. And what is its impact in the study of computer science? Well, it is uh, becoming more and more popular uh, because it deals with the uh, human recognition. You know, it is. Uh, it has its, its applications in security and surveillance. Um, we access uh, our uh, accounts through our biometric traits. Uh, we enter countries in the airports according to uh, our uh, biometric IDs and so on because they recognize us through our faces, fingerprints, uh, irises, and so on. So it is becoming more and more. um influencing actually and it has its own part in the uh, world of uh, computer science so what are the future prospects open for the students who are willing to study in this area of field yeah it uh, actually opens uh, wide doors for them to be good experts in this region uh, in the region of uh, people recognition because as you know um we are dealing with some developing uh, ways of recognizing people so that it will be more comfortable to them uh, without annoying people because in the past for example when knowing people only through their ping- fingerprints uh, they feel as if they were at the police station and uh, now face recognition or iris recognition you just stand in front of the camera and you are scanned and uh, given the access for example to uh, whether it is in the airport or in some shops or the banks or whatever it is so uh, these different places need uh, good engineers uh, good engineers as experts in this field so i'm sure uh, today's students will be very good future engineers if they deal with subjects that uh, are trendy the, with the one that uh, is dealing with the developing parts of the knowledge for example or science uh, for example we we can see the artificial intelligence uh, developing and taking its uh, applications its part in different applications mm-hmm. particularly as you can see now we are we have jumped from type 1 which was narrow to type 2 which is general and uh, in many aspects we are in the third type which is super so we we hope that our students will also take their uh, part and role in the society so that to serve with this uh, direction of uh, science so uh, my next question is regarding this university smu this is the second time you are in this university so what's your take about this university or what's your opinion for the betterment of this university yeah actually i am really uh, very happy to be here for the second time and that uh, was because of the invitation i uh, got from the vice chancellor uh, who i uh, really like very much and we have uh, we can say all the relations Uh, and i do respect him and his role in the uh, in serving the science and students so he last year when we met here he uh, asked me to come and give a course on biometrics to uh, students or staff or whatever 
we can um, uh, find such participants and uh, actually I did so I came for that reason and I'm uh, here until uh, Wednesday I think this will be the last lecture which will be given to the uh, to, to the staff and to students also and uh, I am also very glad to see such a smart students what is the best thing you like about our uh, students or faculties or anything about this university uh, actually they are love to knowledge this is a very important thing because when you teach people who just want to get their diplomas and, and leave the university, you do not feel satisfied. So satisfaction comes when you see smart students, not only clever, not only hardworking, but smart. They contribute to, to the lecture itself. They give their own opinions. They are willing to continue the knowledge of you. And that's what I really found in this university and the students. What, according to you, the relation, how the relation between India and Poland is shaping the study in this field? Yeah, actually we have uh, agreements with uh, many universities in uh, India, for example, University of Calcutta from, uh, from here, from the city, and uh, this university, SNU. Uh, and according to this agreement, we can make some exchange between uh, staff or students and that that is uh, one of the fruits that I am here uh, and uh, actually this will extend and expand more and more for certain development uh, of uh, what the students want to know what to do so uh, we have when we have uh, these agreements between us, we can encourage students to take part of it. So they can come to our university as students or in the future as experts. Uh, we can also come here as a staff member or send our students to inter, uh, integrate with the students here uh, so that they can do something common. And the most important thing may seem to be their will to uh, publish some uh, joint work. Uh, Results, of course, of the work, yeah. You are saying about publishing works of the students and how important it is to publish the students' work in the field of research of, if, of any kind of study. Oh, yeah, this is a very good question, actually. It is very important that the student finds uh, himself as a part of the future of the, not only university, but the city, the country, the world. So when you uh, publish, it means you have done some work that's worth publishing. You get some results that are good, that are recognized by the experts in the world. So this uh, gives you the, the push, good push to work with them, cooperate with them. So when it comes to the staff member, what is, it is one of their three responsibilities, organization, uh, teaching and research but for the students whose uh, main role lies in the learning type so and they have time and wish will to learn more not only that but to to discover new things to invent new devices that is perfect that is the most important thing students who are uh, publishing some results of their uh, joint work under the supervision of their professors, doctors, uh, are really building the future of the university and then the country. Okay, my next question is regarding you. Like, you have been in India for several times. So, what is the best thing you like regarding India about India, specifically about Kolkata? Yeah, actually. Uh, People, if I want to say only one word, people. People are really very nice, beautiful faces. The face is always beautiful when smiling. And that can, you see, I can see your smile now. Thank so uh, smiling means uh, feeling happy. And the foreigners, tourists feel really happy and safe when, when they see the smile on the faces. I notice sometimes, even when I ask people 
to show me, say, the way to reach a point or whatever it is, uh, they smile first, and sometimes they do not understand me. They say things, but to try to help. So they collect some people who know English, for example, language, and try to, to help, which is really appreciated. Uh, from our sources, we got to know that you like the uh, Bengali food, fuchka, very much. So have you been trying it? <laughs> yes, yes, I liked it very much, really. But it's a pity that I cannot do it myself. Because otherwise, in the future, I can do it for my family and myself again. But uh, this may be one of the reasons that I will try to come again to eat it. <laughs> Just a joke, of course. Uh, I really like it. And in general, the food... Uh, particularly the classical and the original food, not the European, the American food in, in Calcutta, no, but the original Indian uh, is really delicious. When I was a child, I come originally from Iraq. When I was a child, we liked two things. Uh, we call baharat. I don't know whether you know that this is no. spicy. Spicy is the Indian spicy. And we like the, in, the Indian films, movies. So we, until now, I remember some titles of some films like Sangam, for example. I remember when we were uh, singing uh, Dara Hapul, something like that, or the older films like Oh Hasina, when they, the Shami Kabur, Rash Kabur. So uh, we always go back to these moments when we are in India or when we talk about India, because our childhood was, was mixed with the culture of India. So um, uh, it is not surprising me that I like the, the food now because I liked it even without being in India. Thank you so much for your time. You are welcome. Thank you very much. It you was a welcome. very interesting and insightful session with Professor Sai. Thank you for watching SNU Reel. Keep watching.